Um, well, let's, let's, let's ask you did all that training, man. How did you ever have to use it? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, some very extensive trauma situations, mm -hmm. uh, on, on, uh, partner nations or Afghans. our guys. I had one, one situation with, uh, um, with an American, uh, army yeah. civ, um, civil affairs dude. I think the bullet, the bullet bounced off of his cop mic and mm -hmm. went up through his, uh, jaw here, broke yeah. his jaw and then shattered all his teeth. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky. Cause if they had went down, so like, lucky. that's oof. So what'd you do? Uh, well, we got him down. Um, and we're like, was he awake? Yeah. Yeah. He was awake the whole time. That's. And, uh, so we worry about, you know, blood going into the right. airway. So I was like, Jimmy, I was like, he was sitting up. We had like Vic DeSantis was there with me. We had it like kind of padded up, I think. And, he, and anyway, I, I, the one thing I specifically remember is it was like, Jimmy, you see this? Like, if you start to go, like, you're going to get this. And he was like, mm -mm. He's like, mm -mm. Like, he couldn't talk. I he's like, you ain't put, he's like, you ain't putting no tube in my neck because I was going to crike him. Yeah. And uh, he was like, uh uh. So he got on, we got him on the side by side and hauled him off to the LZ, which was on like a little compound. And Did you NPA, put an NPA in? No, him? nothing. He was completely conscious of work the whole time. He he, he, even from the flight to uh, DIB to BMG, he was good to go. That's fucking badass. That is cra it's crazy. Um, Tough dude. Yeah. So that I, I would be the same way too because I would not want because like if I'm if I'm conscious there's no way I'm keeping not. that airway in dude I'm gonna try to breathe I'm gonna do as everything I can to breathe Can you imagine being conscious and someone like just slicing your skin here and then poking a hole in it and then like and then breathing from your throat not happening That's the weirdest no. no And I had and I had a um I've had some IED treatments um those those dudes were were done though so I yeah. guess that's not really a treatment um and then one time a dude got shot through his uh temple and it went out his eye um so one of our dudes no afghan i mean one of our uh, commando we i'm our, sorry a and a no, commando okay commando and uh so i was like well this dude's this dude's a toast like i'm not, not gonna have to do anything yeah uh, kind of desensitized to the situation we, of course in the you, moment yeah. now i think yeah. back on it i'm like all that's right yes well you're <laughs> you're fucked up <laughs> but now now that i'm I, I in just, the moment i'm just like uh all right, so I was like, I'm not gonna have to do anything, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then like I get down there. And people he's, don't he's understand. People book. don't understand yeah. that though. They don't understand when you do that job, you have to have a certain type of mentality. Yeah. Like I'm not that type of guy. I'm not mm -hmm. that guy anymore. Yeah. I was, mm -hmm. but there, I'm not that guy anymore. Now yeah. I could probably find him. I could probably find him. Yeah, yeah, if for I need, sure. You know, yeah. I've we've talked about that. Yeah. Like, there, he's down there, yeah. and if we need to break that seal, yeah, you know, we can break that seal, but. Yeah. I, don't really I want see to. him sometimes at jujitsu. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Shh. Anyways, um, so what'd you do? Well, I got down there and he was laying. In, he was laying in a puddle of blood and like I roll him over and he goes, "Oh!" I'm like, "Shit, he's alive." <laughs> I got to work. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, Tyler Scarborough was with me," and uh, we, we were like, "Well, shit." So we put a pulse ox, pulse ox, mm -hmm. your blood oxygen saturation, yeah. pulse, and all that kind of stuff. So it was he was in the dumps. So just it's just an interesting story. I had just uh, after you finish 18 Delta every two years, I believe you go to a refresher, refresher. course. Yeah. And it just, how long is that? Uh, two or three weeks. Okay. Um, you go back over trauma stuff, and in yeah. that and in that specific course that refresher that I went to, we talked about pulse oximetry and. And like using it more frequently, I guess, mm -hmm. than I had thought about. Um, so in this situation, I was able to put on the pulse ox, see that uh, his sats were garbage. We did a crike on him, got the tube in, suctioned out the blood, and like his his pulse ox, like it, it crazy, it worked. So it was like very cool just to see medicine in action, like in numbers, yeah. not right. just Data. not not just yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So you're like, oh, all right. Um, he didn't make it unfortunately because his, his brains was coming out of his eye, but. Uh, we did we did turn him around for a little bit, um, even though the prognosis was yeah not good. Have you ever had to use it outside, outside of the military? No, no, no. I don't know when I would do that. Like if I just come uh, up on car, like a car, car accident, I don't want to get I don't want to get sued. Like I always hear horror stories about people rushing in to help people, and then like it just. But see, I get that. Yeah. But what would you really do? I'd help them. You help them. I think about it, you know I thought about it like just the other day I was like car accident i was like i'm gonna help these people yeah like you just react yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and then you're like and then afterwards you, if they did do that you'd be like, like you're an asshole bro <laughs> you need counseling <laughs> you need counseling. don't get a dog he's a bitch he's gonna bite you <laughs> yeah. oh